Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Adam Jamal. Welcome to the One Word series where we discuss the impact of just one word in the Quran. The word I'd like to look at today is from Surah Ali Imran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He talks about the muttaqeen, those who have taqwa, those who want to protect themselves. And He describes them and He says that one of their characteristics is that they spend their wealth. Whether they are poor, whether they are wealthy, they spend their wealth. And then He goes on to describe them and He says, وَالْكَاظِمِينَ الْغَيْثِ Those who control their anger, وَالْعَافِينَ عَنِ النَّاسِ And those who forgive people, وَاللَّهُ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And Allah loves those who do good. Now, wouldn't you like to be amongst those people? I don't know about you, but I'd like to be amongst those people who Allah loves. And so here Allah he uses the word وَالْكَاظِمِينَ 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 means controlling one's anger. But actually, I'd like to look at that a little bit more deeply. Because kaadhim is usually used in the case of food, where someone is eating and they want to swallow their food. And so they use the word kaadhim, that this person is swallowing their food. And so why did Allah use kaadhim for anger here? Because the muhsineen, the people that Allah loves, those people don't just control their anger, but they swallow it completely. And the idea behind swallowing is that, you know, if I'm chewing my food, then you can see me chewing. Right, you can see me chewing, but once I've swallowed it, then nothing's left. It's as if I was never eating at all. And so that's the idea with anger, that if we are able to not only control our anger, but we're able to swallow it, then we can inshallah be amongst those who Allah loves, and we can be amongst the muhsineen, those who do good. And so I ask Allah that He helps us to swallow our anger, and He, and he helps us to forgive the people, and He helps us to appreciate and deepen our understanding of His Book the Quran. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.